Hi guys, Shauna here. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I'm on a bit early, but I just want to have a chat and say happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, I found a kind of connected to a, a site here with Colette Baron Reed, and I found it interesting. She had uh, a weekly tarot thing. So you're not supposed to have other people's stuff on your own. Eh. <laughs> She's got more time and better uh, looking set than I do. So uh, it was interesting that she had some cards there that very much jived with uh, what I really had going on in my mind uh, channeling wise. So I just, uh, hey, Sarah, <laughs> how's it going? I'm a little early. Um, but I thought, well... I'm going to post her on there because she basically had a lot of what I was getting through, you know, back a video or two here on YouTube about the chaos and the soulmates and all of that stuff. So being Valentine's Day, um, kind of, again, wanted to reiterate what I had said in that hour long video <clears throat> a few days back, which was some. Um, talking about twin flames and soulmates and all of this uh, labeling that's been going on. And I mean, I was part of that, that got kind of suckered into that whole idea. Um, it's really interesting how the universe works. They, they bring you, they hook you into something and bring you along. And as long as you're following and then they raise your vibration and suddenly all this stuff don't make sense. So you got to put it aside. And that's really what that twin flame stuff is all about. Um, kind of learning as I go here as well. But basically, I think what we have to keep in mind forward is dropping the labels and just looking at the connection that we have. And I'll tell you, there's going to be a lot of people <clears throat> claiming to have twin flame relationships and not just one, two, three, four. There's going to be many of them. I'm doing, I'm hearing things in the circles and that's what's, what they're getting is that these people are coming across these connections. They go, oh, there's only one, one flame. Not true. So, uh, be advised <laughs> that these, uh, you know, the increase of vibration that everybody's taken on is, uh, this twin flame stuff is just the soulmates are a symptom of that. So the higher the connection, the better the connection, the deeper. So it's going to seem like it's some magical out of this world thing. But as you evolve, your connections will evolve as well, right? So I just kind of wanted to lay that out. Um, I'm not the best at speaking here, but basically saying that it's vibrational matches. As you increase your vibration, your mirror, right, or your magnetic attraction, and because of the increase in the vibrational frequencies of everybody, it's like increasing the magnet. There's a more of a pull. And when you get together, it's harder to get them apart, and, and there's more magical things that happen. So um, maybe 10 years ago, we had telepathy, da-da-da, well, for years and years, but you know, these are the things that were kind of coming out into the, you know, you have telepathy, you can read their mind, you feel their emotions, you smell their shampoo when they get out of the shower. Or when they're going to the gym, they get out of the gym, you can smell the, their body odor. These are things that happen to these kind of connections. This is going to be just like anything else. I, I don't know how to, it's going to be more mundane as time goes on here, especially after 2021 so I just kind of wanted to make that highlight that for people to kind of get grounded that not to go nuts about you know this one connection and you can't miss it and it's like the train you miss to the end of the world you know it's it's not and not only that uh, it was interesting um, I heard from who was it uh, Esther Hicks there where the Abraham channel they were talking about the connection and how you you could possibly connect with every single person. It's just a matter of your vibrational match. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like, why are we freaking out about to inflate? So that was basically, there's my rant for, for Valentine's Day. So that's the deal. 
uh, that's really what I'm getting downloaded is that we are just going to be making more intense connections as we go on and it won't be just with one person you'll you'll find out one person and then you'll go through all that stuff and then boom then in front of you then there's another one more intense more so and it's different so then you jump on that train you know and it's an evolution process in the raising and the vibration so hopefully that made sense to somebody okay so i did not finish the aries males last night i uh kind of had some kerfuffles here and <laughs> i was i was going real slow so i'm going to start off tonight with the aries male single so i I'm, I'm all together here today did my meditation and uh i'm ready to go so i will start with the first card again happy valentine's day to everyone um here we go so for the gem or sorry whoo, aries male in a single i'm saying relationship but a single situation the first card i get for the romance area is the ten of cups now the ten of cups is about contentment this guy's playing his flute for all these cats right and he is kind of unaware i mean they have this woman in the balcony what she's doing there i don't know she could be could also be a symbol of an uh, like an admirer from afar or distance between a couple right <laughs> like ten of cups is supposed to be the, the the accumulation of having everything emotionally right so I, I have a sense here that this is the is her is the possible partner or someone that they they are comfortable with in their foreground and that's what's coming through here is that we have this uh this Aries male and he has someone in his midst and I feel like it's almost like a friendship that may in the future go further but I feel like he's unaware of that she may be more aware than he is at this point so that's kind of what I'm getting now the next card I get is the six six of canes six of wands this woman she's oh man I'm always going the wrong way she's going in a boat she's taken off she's got a bird cage boy it does not focus there and she's taken off now interestingly enough that guy kind of looks like the guy in the ten of cups but no less she's taken off she's going she's leaving now we have a card that symbolizes contentment and then a card that's uh, symbolizing someone's leaving so the the next card we'd get is embrace the masculine I gotta tune in here because th this card is really symbolizing that this man wants affection love and all of that he's single supposed to be single but I feel like there's something here that he there's a possibility here but it's not catching it's not tuning like some things not happening here we'll move on the next card i get on the left side here with the tarot cards i forgot to tell you what cards i'm using i'll say after the six of cups okay the six of cups is about daydreaming being in um in that la la land state but in a happy kind of way of dreaming of good things and wanting and um romanticizing in a way um also symbols of the past but here yeah there's something here that's floating it's not quite connecting so this is that dreaminess right the next card i get is the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles is about work and solid foundations and uh doing all that kind of almost like a business type so we may have an aries male here that is at work finding someone at work that he he manages to be in the same arena every day all the time but he's not connecting he's dreaming about her thinking about her wishing you know things were good but he's not quite connecting but he, he has the opportunity to see her on a daily or weekly basis but is not quite in a, a position where we're more we're almost like acquaintances is what I feel not even in the friendship zone yet but more of an acquaintance clarification card i get on top of that from the messenger 
is honor the universe, honor the world, Gaia. So there's something this guy's missing. <laughs> what is it? He's up in his head and he's not grounded. He's not in reality. And that's really what this card is trying to say is like, you know, get, get in the real world here. We got to, if we're going to dream about it, why not go after it? Why not uh, pursue that? Right. I think that's the universe saying that to him. Go on, go, you know, <laughs> and then the tree, right? With the water coming out of it, that's emotions. Let the emotions flow. Let the, let it show. And I feel like this Aries male single, he's just not willing to risk his feelings being shut down by someone rejecting, right? So he doesn't even want to show any of it. He's just looking at her. There's an object there. I can fantasize and that's it. So that's the single, okay? Now the next card I get on the right side is the two of swords. That's a stalemate. So that is that indecision to go forward. A real um, lack of enthusiasm in the way of, of romantic feelings, you know, and it may just be on this date. On this day, he's not going to connect. He's not going to do it. He doesn't have the courage, and, you know, especially come forward on, on Valentine's Day. He's not going to do it. I feel so much so almost in the month of February, he's going like, I'm not going to touch it in February, man. It's too risky. It's like the stakes are higher. That's what I'm getting. So a truce for now till, you know, all this holiday, I'm saying holiday, but all this Valentine's stuff dies down. He really don't want to get caught up in that. It's quite comical. And then we get the five of pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is really that feeling of being alone and wanting a companion and, and being desolate in that, you know. Uh, he's feeling the missing pieces, but not willing to. I mean, he's showing. He's standing there, but he's not willing to really communicate. There's nobody else there. He's just standing by himself, right? So he's not willing to come forward and say his truth at that point. And, and look at this. Do not fear the unknown. That's the universal. Don't fear, you know, I don't think he's really in a mode where, uh, where he's like thinking overly negative. I think he's just thinking, what would it be like? But he's just, just not going to go forward. He's just, you know, he's not creating scenarios where, but yet he is fearing rejection, but he's not creating scenarios in his head where he's being rejected. He's just fantasizing about things going better like them going on dates and a progression. So maybe he just has to wait for that manifestation energy to, to, to move, tumble forward a bit. So we have an Aries male here, the single guy. He's really in his own little world. He's locked himself up in there, and he's decided he ain't going to make no decisions right now. Now, <laughs> wonder what his blocks are. Okay, 11, or sorry, did I say 11? Wait, where did that come from? <laughs> the, the new love card is the card he gets in love. It says, embrace the new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Okay. Did you guys get that? Okay, new love. So he, he needs to have a little more faith like that shooting star. She's got so much faith in that sucker. She's going out there and grabbing it. You know, she is going to, she's going to catch it. And this is the energy he really has to come into. And I feel like the potential's there. He's just really tiptoeing. And for Aries energy, it's not like him. So there must be some planets that are out of alignment, eh? that aren't in his, his uh, right energy field, taken away from him a bit. That fiery energy, it's not natural for him to do that so new love he needs to go in that direction and and really make a movement forward go out and grab that star that bright thing that he's seeing and fantasizing about so i gotta clarify i accidentally said the number 11 and they're like this is the symbol right and i think a lot of us know this one and one makes two which is the coupling right twin flame soulmates whatever you want to call it the connecting of the energies because as i was reading that card they're going 11 means coupling this man needs to get coupled so 
when you see 11, 11, that's mirrored, showing that you got one partner here that's ready to go and another partner that's wanting to come in. That's what they're downloading while I was trying to read. Sorry, but sometimes they do that, they overlap. And um, I'm trying to read something and I'm not quite. So they're saying the 11 is a symbol of uh, mate connections, higher vibrational connections. So when you're seeing the 11, 11, not only is it a wake up, it's a wake up to love, really, is what they're saying here, which is kind of news to me because it's always been the wake up code, right? But they're saying we're waking you up because you got to, go in a direction of of meeting and not only once you get into that mode where you want that partner then they want you to balance your male and fe uh, masculine and feminine within yourself so this is for everybody uh the masculine the feminine within your own person to balance that out so the 11 is a symbol of coming together of energies male 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 female whatever your preference and then also uh 69 if you see 69 a lot, that's becoming balanced in your masculine and feminine and coming together with that. Because you've got to be balanced in order to, to, to gravitate to that other pole. And then um, when you see 96, that means you're out of whack, that you're not balancing properly either on one side too much or on the other side too much. You've got to balance some things out. So... The Aries, male, single. What is his block? Fear of intimacy is his block. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So this man, he is ready for love. He is visualizing. He is thinking about it. So he just needs to start acting from it. And, I mean, if he doesn't feel naturally connected to do that, then that is something that will just eventually kick in gear. I mean, this man's an Aries, so he'll eventually kick in when it, when it needs to, so it might be a timing issue. So Aries male, single, intimacy, he has to learn how to do that. And I think his uh, major thing here to conquer is his fear of rejection overall, rejection of intimacy because he's wanting that so badly. So that was the Aries male single. So hopefully um, I clarified something for you or somebody you knew, know in a relationship. I'm going to start shuffling here. <laughs> Try and get through these a little quicker but more organized here tonight. So we'll go into the male couple, Aries, and see how he does and where he's blocked. We can unblock that. Whoa. Oh, look. <laughs> Can't take all those cards. That one's cool. That one, okay, <laughs> start there. All 
sorry I'm so quiet I'm just getting into these energies here Okay. Okay, Aries male in a coupled relationship. Here we go. We start out with 17, which is the star. And even though in the, the regular deck that's kind of uh, hope and, and um, healing card, here it is kind of a. Um, I found that the energies lead to what kind of what direction are we going here? A couple, maybe there's some confusion um, within the relationship about what's going on. You know, maybe somebody in the relationship's got ideas here. It's not matching up with the the male in the relationship. They're not quite knowing if they're staying or going or what's going on. I feel like a hovering kind of an effect here. This man is going, okay, well, you make up your mind and you let me know. <laughs> and then I'll make a decision from there because they're kind of confused. That's the feeling I'm getting is that this Aries man is feeling very confused about where the partner really wants to take things. Because I feel like their partner's uh, being shifty or being um, very closed in and they're going like trying to talk. They know something's wrong with the partner, but the partner's not giving it up. They're not. Uh, is that a control issue for them? Could be. Uh, so he's just holding back and waiting for the partner to give it up. And it, um, I think he's got a time limit on this. So he's going to wait for a certain amount of time. Then he's going to go, okay, now I'm going to make decisions here. You had enough time to, to say your piece because I think he's going to end up getting frustrated here pretty quick. So he's wondering which direction this relationship is going. So there's some confusion. Uh, the next card I get is seven. So that's the betrayal card. Now, this can be, doesn't have to be like a cheating scenario. It can be anything from a disloyalty, um, talking behind the back, anything like that. I mean, it can go through that whole gamut. So there's somebody here that is waiting for some answers, and it may just be the Aries male. Um, because I feel like just he's hanging here waiting on some answers. Okay. So he may have confronted his partner about a disloyalty or, uh, maybe some words that got back to him. He wasn't quite fond of, and he's waiting on the decision here. Is she going to say sorry, or are we going to work this out? Or are you going to, you know, walk what's going on? And I don't feel it's a heavy thing like a cheating scenario. I don't feel that. I feel like uh, somebody feels let down by the partner. Almost like to, uh, they got um, word back from someone else about their bad mouth in them, behind their back or something. That's what I'm getting. So somebody was doing that, and it came back around, and they're going, okay, so this is what I heard. And then, whoa, they just put the brakes on. And nobody's talking, nobody's saying nothing, don't want to admit, don't want to fess up, don't want to apologize, nothing. So that's kind of the feeling I'm getting now. This is interesting because the messenger card is a new day dawns. And this is really, I mean, it's the first card of that oracle, oracle deck. And it is about new horizons, new, new paths that we're going to take here. But I feel like the Aries male hasn't quite taken that step out, but he's well prepared to do that. That's going to be his step here is turning and going in a direction. So I feel like the Aries male in a coupled relationship is really teetering on something here. As we move on, we get the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is really that disappointment, grief, sorrow, bitterness. Um going yeah not bitterness there's kind of a huge disappointment here we expected more of the partner whichever one right i have a feeling 
that the Aries male is kind of in a power position here, meaning he was not the one that did the wrong or betrayed. And I feel like it was through words, spoken words. Something was said behind the back and he found out, came and confronted. And now we've got a situation here. And he's very disappointed. He didn't expect that from the partner. Okay. Now the next card I get is the three of wands. So that is really looking to the future for better horizons. The sun is out and he's in. So he is looking for something to make him happy and bring his spirits back up. The sun's setting here. So we got to watch. It's really a slow fade. But nonetheless, something's going wrong here. Now, the messenger card I get is observe in silence. And this is really where that Aries male is sitting. He is just sitting there. Sorry, there's a glare on these cards. He is sitting there in silence waiting. And he is really not, he's not going to take judgment either way until this is settled by words. He is wanting words. He's not getting words. He's getting silence. It's almost like the partner knows. The partner knows they're kind of screwed here. So I don't know if they're trying to build a strategy or they're trying to, I don't know what they're trying to do, but they know they're in trouble and they're just not coming up with any solutions. So he's just given it. He's got tick, tick, tick. He's waiting, but he ain't going to wait for long. So he's waiting for the answers. And he's going to observe in silence, and then he's going to make up his mind. And and uh, if it takes too long for the partner to come forth here, it's just not going to happen. He's going to make up his mind at a certain point, and there won't be any more uh, choice here, you know, to come forth. So on the right side, we get the seven of swords, and I feel like this is the partner. This is the partner because we've had some deception here. And now we get the sneakiness. They're trying to get away with something they know is wrong. So what's going on? Like I said, I don't feel like it's as heavy as a cheating. But I feel like it's, it's words that went around, come full circle back. And words that shouldn't have come out. Um, it's almost like, why, you, why didn't you talk to me about it? Why you have to go blab to all these other people? It's none of their business. You should have talked to me about it, not these people. What are you doing? And kind of like they knew better. So I don't know if the partner is trying to get away without dealing with it or if there's still some deviousness there. They're trying, I don't know what's going on there. But nonetheless, this person knew better. But they did, uh, you know, the disappointment's pretty heavy. So the next card I get is the tower. And the tower is really. <sighs> Stuff the Aries male knows. He knows. He is um, maybe in denial of a few things or not wanting to, to deal with a few things. But nonetheless, he realizes there's some stuff here he's got to deal with. And the tower's coming in. He's going to deal with it. Even though he really doesn't want to deal with it, he knows what's going on. And it may be the destruction of a relationship or a situation where he's losing He's losing the honor of his partner, okay? I'll say it that way because I don't know that the partner will go out and cheat, but they are, they are being disloyal, and there's a disloyalty that may start to continue here, and that's really what I think the Aries male in the coupled relationship is picking up on. He knew this. He didn't want to know this. He wanted to have faith in his partner, found out he couldn't have faith in his partner. Now he's got to make some decisions. So I feel like this waiting here, this waiting in silence is really not going to last long because the universe is going to push it even further than he's going to have to push it himself. Because I had a feeling that this man's only going to wait for so long. Well, guess what? The universe is going to come in before he, his ticker's up and they're going to come in and shut things down. So something's going to come out here. I feel like you may have heard something here, uh, Aries male, but you may be hearing some more stuff that's going to kind of crumble. If there's no solid foundation here, it's really breaking at the seams at this point. Clarification card I get on top of that 
is be patient and that's interesting because that's the number two card in this deck this is the number one where do we go here this is number one ah oh, career <laughs> and this is number two so that's that motion away we're progressing in that motion away after the tower tower comes in and then because we're we're already at a point here where we're we're heading that way and then when the tower comes down we take our first step out the door that's what's going on so this guy knows he wasn't listening to his instinct didn't want to listen to it he actually had more faith in his partner than they deserved and this is what has brought him here today so the love card he gets is listen with your heart you are listening to what's being said, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So he has to be careful. This may be a clue as to what, um, why your partner did not open up to you in that way. It's because uh, they're fearing a backlash. And if we have an Aries male, they can tend to be in that way, stubborn. And maybe not open, not open as much as they should. Or maybe not just as open, but um, getting really fired up real quick too quick to have a discussion about it and come to an agreement about it so this is this is the tip right listen with your heart and see if that can help you here but i feel like th this tower is coming in man this is one of those relationships you know it may not be the worst relationship it may not be the best but it's not meant to be i don't think um because the universe just crackling it up now the uh the what is it <laughs> surrender card that i get which is really uh, highlighting the block is surrender to receiving support and love so allow the love and support of others in in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you so really about kind of accepting love and support within the relationship right accepting so maybe this hmm receiving support and love so you may have a hard time getting like you know that's kind of a play on intimacy right if you can't receive it properly i don't know he's he's got some deeper stuff going on here that i think i i, I don't want to make excuses for people being going outside of the relationship whether in confidence or whatever um but i feel like you know this is what's going on he's he's not he's not being an example of the you know not being an example of communicating not you know every time the partner comes in the communication it's like argument zero to ten right away in an arguing degree so this is what's going on so that is the aries male and a couple surrender to receiving support and love so he has to learn how to receive love so if you can't receive it you can't really fully give it either if you can't receive it because you don't know your worth if you can't receive it right if you're not receiving things like oh i'm not worthy you know and that's a, that's a self issue in it in itself right a self-worth issue so seems like the male couple aries he's in a little bit of trouble here and i don't see i don't know <laughs> the tower's coming in to clear things out so whatever's not supposed to be there ain't gonna be there by the end of the month i'm feeling even uh well by the end of the month for sure we'll get a clear view of where we're headed if we're not going in the relationship um it's going to be known by the end of the month right so that's for the aries male in a couple's relationship sorry it's not better news but it seems to be some kind of a betrayal on a level that people don't really want to talk about the aries male i think is well wanting to talk but he may not be the most receptive or constructive in that way in, in dealing with that within the relationship with some high fiery temper that might and i'm not saying this guy's flying off and beating people i'm just saying you know we, we get we raise our voice and then the de defenses come up and we don't get anywhere that kind of thing um and conditioning as well you may have a partner that's conditioned you know if if 
if there's a raised voice, man, I'm out of here. I'm not I'm shutting down. I'm not even going to go there. So they will, they'll just turn their back. And that is kind of the, um, would kind of mesh with the energy that I'm getting for the betrayal. It's like, I can't talk to him. So I got to talk to somebody else. And then they get pissed off because, you know, they, the partner's not coming to them, but they're not coming because they get static. So they got to be careful. <laughs> they got to tiptoe here, but I feel like no matter what, it just may not be a future for what, what, the situation he's in at this point so hopefully over valentine's i help you get into that energy before the actual tower comes down and it'll make it a smoother transition forward for you that is my hope here for the aries man so now we get into the gemini female single so if we have any Geminis, be quiet in here. Might come in over the time. So for the Gemini female single, I can't even remember her videos either for Valentine's Day that I put out. Oh, no, I do now. Yeah. Intimacy was the thing again, I think. Okay, Gemini female love lock. Gemini female, single person. <laughs> See what's going on here. The first card I get on the romance, romance side is 12, the hangman. So we're trying to look at things from a different perspective. I feel like, again, I feel like this Gemini may be um, starting to think differently about relationships. Okay period um the next card i get is the seven that's deception you know being uh being let down heavily here so there's something that the gemini female is going through that's making her rethink it's almost like she is on an upswing and then whoop, she's got something she's got to rethink now the messenger card i get is that we are all connected um that's really kind of a, a I feel like the universe trying to say to get these Gemini's into the spiritual connection of everything, get into the spiritual side of things, deeper into things. Not we're still on that surface, Bob, in a way we need to go down deeper and I'm going to figure out what this deception is all about. And this backing away a little bit, hang time. As we continue on, I get the nine of cups. And the, in this deck, I usually uh, attribute this to mean kind of like the the seven of cups in the normal deck <laughs> because it's all these cups, they're all full of stuff. And um, so it's kind of a dreaminess or could even run into the confusion point here. 
because she doesn't really, if you look at her, she doesn't really look like she's overly joyed or she's almost like in confusion. She's just kind of sitting there going, okay, fruit, flowers, what's going on? So being where she may have a lot to think about, okay, in the romance area. I'll leave it at that. Then we get the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is about putting work in. And I mean, they're showing me this is work, okay? So she's really not. There's something here where I feel like the Gemini female was going to look in the direction of love. And now she's like, nope, work. I'm going to go back to work. Um, that's really what it is. Is um, because this is the card that symbolizes the, the opportunity for love. And she's looking away. And then this one's looking at the coins going, you know, that's what matters more. Let's think about this, not that. That's frivolous. That's We don't need that. So <laughs> the female's kind of conflicted here. But I feel like there's something that spurred her to do that. Something that spurred her to think that way. So... As we go on, right, these two cards here are hugely, hugely connected. We get uh, 29 in the messenger. Nourish the soul. You know, you're, you're starving. <laughs> you're starving. Oops, wrong card. You're starving for the nourishment of your soul. So you need to take the time to dip into that in whatever way soothes it for you. You know, there's there's a depth here that's not being reached. We get two cards here that's symbolizing we need to go deeper. This one's like, but we got to spiral down a little bit, not into the depths of despair, but into the hope and the opportunity of what what do we believe? You know, and we are all connected is like reaching out as well as reaching in, reaching out to people and connecting in that way. So as we go left or right, sorry. Knight of Pentacles. This is the dude. <laughs> He's that slow, steady dude. He's in the background. This guy's coming up for a few readings. He's on the edge of town here. He's just hanging out, not really not really standing out like a sore thumb, but he's there. So this is the you know, reliable, dependable, may even be a best friend type figure. That's what I'm feeling. But maybe potential down the road, okay? <laughs> this is potential guy usually he's a strong sturdy you know this is the offer you want but i'm getting a real distancey feeling not like um but not a lover okay more of a friendship or an acquaintance that is there and really dependable acquaintance that you kind of you know you can rely on the next card i get which is interesting is the eight of cups so i had a feeling earlier that you know, the hangman is about taking time out of something. Time to look at things different. And I feel like this Gemini female, she's stopping something that she was going in the direction of. We have the eight cups. That's turning your back. So that really does coincide with this card. We're taking a time out to look at things differently and then turning our back. In the end, we're turning our back. Not only are we going to look at things differently, but we're going to start walking off in a different direction. So it's interesting because I get this. <clears throat> Got to look at this properly. How is it hanging? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is coming and she's turning away. But I get a sense from this dude, even though I get a, a distancing and a dependability, there's something about the Gemini females going, no, no. She's just not having it, not wanting it. And I think the uh, in in the reading that I did for the Gemini female, I'm pretty sure it was the single. She was they had somebody in her midst at that point that was kind of um, turning it on a little bit, kind of showing their colors a little bit. I think that scared her away. Not scared her away. She just doesn't want it. She's not in favor of it. Okay, now the clarification card I get on top of that mess <laughs> is see yourself in nature. She <laughs> they're going, yeah, she'd rather be at the beach than with this guy. So, hey, hey Danny, happy Valentine's Day to you too. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> I'm actually just ripping yours off here. So we're in the Gemini female single. 
and I was just explaining about how there's a dude coming in here and he may have been showing his colors but the female's really not having it she's kind of turning her back on an opportunity here to go further though I don't feel like this dude is really in her inner circle I feel it's more of an acquaintance that's kind of maybe turned it on a little too 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 high here and it's just there's no interest for the Gemini females kind of just to walk and and um, as I was flipping the card to clarify that situation it says see yourself in nature and then spirit goes yeah she'd rather be at the beach than with this dude <laughs> by herself not with it so there's just a real ability here for the Gemini females nothing of her caliber that's coming here and she's prepared to just isolate herself a little bit more but the if going into the nature <laughs> oh you do <laughs> that's good um you know it's interesting because when i'm looking at the knight of pentacles i gotta explain this to you if you're vibing he is good for his word but i feel like he's really really slow so slow that you can almost see that it's like he doesn't even care enough yet he's showing interest but he's not moving uh, so it's really a kind of a he's got to really shit or get off the pot and he's really kind of doesn't know what to do at this point he's a little constipated okay <laughs> sorry metaphors are wonderful aren't they so this dude is just not cutting it and I think that's okay you're not missing out he's got a little bit of growing to do here he's a knight he's not a king so <laughs> he has some stuff he's got to work on and you're feeling that you're really I mean seeing it clearly for what it's worth <laughs> and we're not going there I mean he, he needs to do his stuff on his own and 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 I do get a sense here because a lot of this energy is going to float through the spring and summer that you really are going to do a lot of maybe even like well I know because I know you right Diane but uh, you know getting into nature and really grounding yourself out where you really are going to get into an energy field I think you may live in this too as well but on and off but a more solid field of uh, you know it's going to take a hell of a lot to get me out of a mode where where you got to impress me and I don't think a lot of these dudes these men even the even the because the knight of pentacles really in the upper what do you call that echelons of the, of these men but it's just he's not cutting it he's just slow and kind of not getting it okay so as we get into the blocks here the love card that you get is 41 do something for someone else sorry lisp here do something for someone else and give your attention to someone else and look at they're going yeah like this you're not missing out too much I mean the instincts were correct here it's just not worth your while it'd be more frustration than it's worth we have an imbalance of energies and that's what you're feeling so strongly so that's the thing do for something for someone else and look at all the nature and the animals and and the flowers and I really do feel like in the spring that's really where you're gonna go is in nature and really um recharge the battery and then you'll come back in the mid summer i'm thinking july august not even august by august you'll be flying in a good uh full charge on your battery you know but in um may june <laughs> yeah exactly you know and you just be vibing out and you'll be and everything will be very fluid at that time because you'll you'll be uh magnetizing things in that area things will come about in that area and then you'll bring it back and of course i feel like when you get back to your hometown okay there's a bit of a drainage that just automatically comes in so just got to be aware of that just the nature thing is really heavy here and I feel like you're gonna dip into that so that's all good that's all on your path now your actual block okay um, surrender to your soul's path so we're not quite on there <laughs> yeah 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 or a boater or something I don't know boat man a man on a boat that's what I see so surrender to your soul's path your life's journey what is it? can I read it has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth, growth, 
embrace every lesson and every moment. So that's what it is, right? That's the only thing you really truly need because I think that this Gemini female, she's really in a situation where she's reluctantly had to come to terms with herself, but nonetheless has done so. And in that, her soul's path is not quite, we need some more tweak in there. We're not quite happy in that unit. And once we do, then then that other thing, will, then that dude will come along that kind of actually is in line. Because we got a lot of this going on right now. And Gemini females going like this and all these guys are squawking over here. It's just not pleasing. It's not even in the zone. We got so much off here. But I think it's just really, um, you know, the nature in that will really help you over the spring. So hopefully that helps it's, there's a lot of depth here that we need to get into i think we're we're deep but we're not deep enough i think we're kind of tricking ourselves into how much how deeply we are actually going um and if we're on the single side right we're not having examples of having to fight that out within a partnership right because it's it's kind of easier to dive deeply into someone else outside of you than it is to go and dive deep into your own self so that's kind of like the uh the, the thing going on i seriously see the water as being like a canoeer seriously do you know anybody that you go canoeing with out there maybe you'll join like a club where you go canoeing or like what do you call that rowing and then you, i don't know maybe meet someone like that. <laughs> who knows um but water I mean, but that's, it's all there. It's all water. So anyway, um, yeah, so have a good summer. Just relax, recharge your battery, because that's really what the universe wants you to do, because you've got it all cased. Now you have to start thinking about the career. Where in the career do I need to go if I had no money and I didn't depend on money and I had to make myself happy, what would I be doing? When you're retired, what are you going to do? then go back and do that now. <laughs> That's really what it is. When you retire, what do you want to do? And then go and try and fit that in now instead of when you're retired. So then you can you can feel like you're retired and you're still working and getting paid. <laughs> so <laughs> currently all my... <laughs> well, there might be one little gem out of there that sticks out. But for now, we'll just, you know, because it's interesting, Danny, I don't want to get too personal, but uh, I get a feeling that the, the countdown is kind of coming up here. <laughs> you specifically, because um, I feel like your 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 time's up for a single here, but I'm not seeing it in the cards. I'm seeing a rejection, and I feel like it's valid. Not like there's anything really wrong with the dude. It's just really that we got the connection. Like, it's just not jiving. It's not my kind of thing is what's, uh, you know. So, um, but your time is ticking. And I feel like the fall here, right? Because energetically, they're going, you know, by the fall, we're going to be settling into new lives here, new loves and new directions. So if by the fall, we're not looking towards something, we will be in it by then. So this is really when it's going to settle and you're going to spawn off in a new direction. How do you discover? Well, you just think. What would make you happy? What are your dreams? That kind of thing. Go in that part of your brain and and think about all the things that you don't have to think about when it comes to money and stress and all of that. Get rid of all of that and think about the things that you would do if the universe didn't revolve around money, didn't revolve around paying rent. What would make you happy? You know, an artist would say painting. A writer would say writing. You know, musician, I go in my room and play my drums or whatever. So these are the things you got to think about how to do that within your own realm. And that's really what it is. And I've been feeling that for a while for you is uh, we really have to pinpoint what makes us happy. Sometimes we just don't know. So guess what? Summer. Boom. There you go. That's going to be filling your head now because then you can, you got all that time. You're going to have that freedom. Your battery's going to start to charge. Then you're going to start to get that creativity and then it's going to start flushing through. And then by the fall, guess what? You might even be going in that direction already going, you know what? I can make this happen because as soon as you make up your mind, Danny, the things will start falling into place. You're climbing. 
So they're going to start falling. You just have to make up your mind in that way and start thinking, uh, what do you call that, consecutively about it. And there's no thought process there. She's not thinking about it. She's thinking about what she needs to do to pay the rent, but that's not making her happy, right? So we got to think about the things that make her happy and then think about, you know, because the these things here now, we're getting into a mode, we're starting to place things where we're having less stress. We're going to be starting to have less stress over the summer for you. So now we're going to pay those bills. We're going to have that taken care of. So now we can rise above that. And we can start to fill that creativity switch is going to go on. And then we're going to start to roll the roll the film for the uh, creative visualization for what it is that makes me happy. Boom. And then that's going to start going forward in the midsummer. <clears throat> and it'll be a lot easier for you to do that once your stress level is lower, right? And this is what we're working on. So hopefully that works out i hopefully i know it's gonna it's it's part of that process and i feel like you're already on it so you just have to keep going and uh gemini's are really instinctive in that way so it's just gonna happen for you that way. so you kind of missed it but you know what danny you can go back and look at it anytime once i uh download it i'll put timestamps on later and you can go back and look at it and read it so what you missed is not lost you can see it tomorrow so really what it is, your block is you're not in the direction of your soul path that truly makes you happy. You haven't found that yet. So that's what you need to do. And then once you do that, the, the puzzle's put together. Because you are, you are one of those uh, unique people that actually uh, can be somewhat happy. Although everybody wants a partner, but you, you can function without one. And this is what is um, a lot of people are struggling now to catch up there. They don't, they can't struggle without one. So they're grasping all these ones and creating chaos where there's people like you, me, we can kind of be alone. So we don't have to stress so much. I don't have to accept, you know, the, that baggage. So that's half a de-stress part. <laughs> but anyway, so hopefully that helped you. Uh, like I said, you might have to look over it once it's rebooted. And I'll timestamp it so it'll be ready tomorrow with all the timestamps where Gemini female all that. So take that into account, and I can I can always deal with you later. So that's awesome. <laughs> Good energy though. A lot of natural uh, earth energy is rising up to meet you, and because of your air, right? You're in air. I feel like you've been in a lot of fire energy. These Gemini females really. That fire energy is overloading them. So now I feel like over the summer, they're going to get into their air. They're going to get a little more relaxed, not as intense, not as got to do, got to rush, 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 right? Even though the gentleman I is rushed in the mind, the body is going to slow down a little bit. And then we're going to catch up with ourselves a little bit. That's when the battery is going to start filling, spend time in nature, get our creative skills. Our mind will come back. The fog will lift. And then we'll go, yeah, that would make me happy if I did that. And then all the realizations start coming. Then your outer universe will reflect that. Then you'll start accepting. And then going forward, then there's just no stopping. That's it. That's all. That's how it works. <laughs> so groove with that, baby. That'll take you right up until the fall. So hopefully you can make sense of it. Now, so that is the female single. Now we're going to go to the Gemini female couple. Okay. So see what she's got going on. Again, these are kind of overlapping my Valentines that I run through to March. But we're, we're going on different levels here. But there's also things that are, things that are changing already from those readings. You know, because people could have gotten advice and made decisions that they wouldn't have made before they got the advice. So this is what's going on. So for the Gemini female in a coupled relationship. Sorry, a little burp there. I didn't know what I was talking Quiet time. <laughs> like shuffle.
Okay, Gemini female. Why well, this shuffling takes a while? <laughs> they literally tell me, stop, no, one more shuffle, two more shuffles, split the deck, da da da. <laughs> so you're just gonna wait till they go, okay. <laughs> My nose, not here. Okay, two more. <laughs> So we're doing okay. Okay. Gemini female couple. Happy Valentine's Day. Here we go. Okay. The first card in the romance area is the Knight of Cups. So we have a female in a coupled relationship. Okay, I'm going to just say that this is an offer of love and I'm going to move forward because really the lay of the cards really say a lot here. So I'm going to move. Now, the next card I get is the Ace of Cups. So that's really about having all of the love and the joyful feelings and being full yourself and ready to go in another, in that other direction, which is your partner, right? Okay, now we need to look at this how it's laying on the table because we have an ace of cups which is one of the partners right and if i'm thinking just let me zone in yeah that is the female okay okay this is gonna get complicated this uh this is the the symbol of the female with all her emotions the gemini in the coupled relationship this is her partner her partner is not offering her love back to her now there's a problem here but that i'm feeling this ace of cups here is not aware of this is not aware of the love going outside of the relationship now we have to be careful we don't go nuts here with this information now that could be paying more attention to his buddies paying more attention to family outside of the relationship it could be as simple and as innocent as that but it could also be literally going in the love direction in another way. He's turning his back on, on his partner. This is the partner. This is the relationship. So he's going outward with that. So we got to be careful. Now, observe in silence. This makes me believe that this Gemini female, she knows what's going on. Okay. She is observing and not saying a word. She's seeing this. She's not dealing with it okay so there's something going on here where emotions are not being withheld in the relationship meaning your partner's not giving to you but you're not saying anything about it but you're you're in you're in acknowledgement of it but nothing's being said or done okay as we move forward here we have the five of swords that's about the struggle and the fight okay fighting at the expense of someone else we have two swords there it's like a grave that we put someone in and we're standing on there being all proud right so winning at the expense of someone else so where does this come from is this the gemini female yes it is so who's who did she have to throw under the bus in order to get forward 
this is what's going on right so she's standing there in victory is it her partner because it looks like there might be some consequences here for that okay so we have a situation where she has thrown somebody under the bus here and is very proud and victorious in that now the next card we get is the page of pentacles <laughs> right away they're going there's still some learning that we need to do here because this man is usually about knowledge and understanding and moving forward in that way he's the page he goes page knight king so this is the beginning stages of learning process so i feel like this observance and silence is a little bit slyly on the wrong side of things on the darker side of things I feel like this gemini female in a coupled relationship is trying to pull off some stuff here she's feeling like she's in victory but i think she's losing her partner in the mix feel like she's how do you say that she's won the fight but lost the war I think that's what's going on here so this page of pentacles as soon as i picked it up they go there's still a lot here that needs to be learnt. That's it. They said, you know, there's still stuff here that needs to be learned. So we're trying, we got to go in that direction and figure out what that is. Because I don't feel like she's got a hold of it. I feel like her ego is getting the best of her now. On top of that whole shebang here, thrown under the bus, we have see the truth. So that's what it is. We're in denial of something in the relationship that we're knowing is going on. We're seeing it, right? We're feeling it, right? And we're observing that the partner is doing something, it's taking action about things, but we're not prepared to take responsibility for an opinion in that way. So this is the truth standing there waiting to be discovered. And I feel like that's the error because I don't feel like she's seeing the truth. I feel like she's stepping over bones here, but I don't know that she's got all the information. Okay. So as we move forward, we'll see where we head here. And this is the other side of things so this is going to be on your partner's side we have the nine of wands that's putting a lot of effort in here and not being impressed with the results so there's you know you tell me i got all these wands here and only one's bearing fruit or a vine at least right so that's what's going on is this guy's he's had it he's getting how do you say near the end of the road he's really uh come to the end of his rope here he's not got a lot left he's looking at this going is it worth it i don't know is it worth it he's just not happy you know he's put too much effort in here and he doesn't figure that i'm trying to get the face he doesn't figure the results are worth it you're focusing on my face anyway he's disappointed so the next card I got, ooh, okay, is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is another player here. We have a woman, okay? If we have this offer from the beginning, it's going outward, guess where it's going? It's going to an earth type energy, grounded, centered, uh, someone who's uh, financially sturdy and capable. Uh, I feel like capable mother capable worker capable i mean she's got it all covered all the bases are covered this could also be the gemini female because okay let's look at this <laughs> again we have our backs to each other she's turned away from him he's turned away from her so it could be a new player and it, actually it's almost like the illusion that we can get another partner here on either end so we got to be careful but i feel like when they're showing me all of the traits here i feel like the gemini female is really uh, the epitome of this so i i gotta take my step back here because even though she's turned away so i feel like there's really a blockage here these two partners the gemini she's not wanting to talk he's not wanting to talk so they're both just i think the gemini female is a little more interested in watching what happens and not saying anything and i think the partner is just doing whatever they want and and the gemini female is going well you know and she's kind of i think calling them on stuff but it's like there's no consequence here there's no uh there's nothing really happening other than maybe some 
uh, just some struggling, you know. So the, the card I get on top of the, the two facing away from each other is focus and then act, right? So we have some observation going on. And if we know what's going on, and I feel like she's, like I said, in denial of a lot of stuff that's going on. I don't know why, not wanting to face it. They're really not dealing with uh, each other in the relationship anyway. So if we have to come to terms with a break, what's the difference? What is the difference? We may have a situation here where we're worried about money only. So if that's that's the fact that will uh, that will create disharmony no matter what down the road. I mean, uh, so just focus before you act. Do not act out of struggle and strife because that will get you into trouble. And make sure you get all your facts. And that includes going to your partner with questions. Because I feel like uh, there's a lot of presumptions being made here. The Gemini female is presuming everything and not fact checking. And that's really going to get her into trouble down the road. But I feel like th this connection, there's no connection here. We're just two cohabitants. That's it. So we got to focus on what we want and then act from that. We need to make up our mind. I think we're getting caught up in a little bit of uh, chaos or what do you call that? shit storm <laughs> that kind of a thing somebody's trying to create a shit storm and they're waiting for all the planets to align and it's just not quite lining up so we have to back up a bit get away from the the, the shit storm and uh and start thinking about the bigger picture here because it's it's not just about catching somebody doing something wrong we have to really decide whether we want to be there so i feel like it's kind of an immature petty fight that's going on it's not really good. So uh, let's continue. <laughs> let's go into the love area here. Interestingly enough, we have, uh, for the love card, we have romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. I do not feel this is the mode that this relationship is in, okay? So we either have a bipolar situation within the relationship where we're pissy and we're uh, cuddly. We're pissy and we're cuddly. So a very immature type relationship. Or um, we have somebody here on the sidelines that we're willing to lavish that with. And we need to decide whether, you know, to stay in this relationship or go in that direction. Because that's really what I'm getting here. This is a romance not connected within the relationship. So something's going on there. <laughs> now your block, joy. Of course, you're not happy if you're not dealing, right? So you gotta surrender to the joy. How do you get joyful? You, you, for one, you gotta look at the truth. Not, I mean, we're observing, <laughs> but we're not wanting to admit it. Denial heavy is what I feel here as well. And then we got to get used to that. So I'm going to read this here verbatim. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smi uh, smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more, more joy, like the hard times, right? So maybe you guys are meant to go through this, but you really have to come to terms with the truth of what's going on. I feel like that'll clear a lot of things up. You may be able to get through this because to a certain degree, I guess you are both on the same level. You're both at the same uh, joint here. <laughs> You're both mirroring each other is what I'm trying to say. So we really have to start dealing with each other in the relationship instead of dealing with things outside. And I'm not saying you know, a bunch of cheaters. I'm just saying um we're really talking to other people rather than our partner we really don't know who our partner is and that's how you get to know them is because you you cohabitate these people habitate but they don't talk communicate they talk but don't communicate you know it's uh surface stuff how was your day good did you get the groceries yep how was work good you know that kind of thing <laughs> so it's a very um mundane and not deep so we got to get deeper or, you know, do whatever we're going to do. So we have to get real, really, is what it is. So the Gemini female in a coupled relationship, there's a little bit of observing she's doing. Uh, and I feel like it's to manipulate the partner to get, you know, to 
It's all this um, lower level stuff. So we got to rise above that. See the truth of what we're dealing with. Focus on what we, we want for answers. Go discuss that with the partner and then act. Boom. There, there's your solution. Um, though I don't feel like that is the way that the Gemini female in a couple of relationships is going to go. That is kind of the solution. And, and the other solution is, is just to engage in the joy and quit focusing on the negatives in the relationship because it really is uh, perpetuating your partner, making a perpetual motion for your partner. It's unrolling that carpet for your partner to just walk off. And it's making you want to do the same. So we don't want to do that. We want to uh, come back, right? So we don't want to roll out the carpet for them to take off. We want to roll it so that, you know, he's coming back home, that kind of thing. And we want to make it good for them to come home. We don't want to be um, complaining in, in that way. So hopefully that helps for the Gemini female couple. Kind of harsh, actually. It's a harsh... <laughs> A harsh, a stern talking to is, I think, what is what came off there. So, sorry, but you know what? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here. This is really the energy. I'm just reading it in my own vibe, but that's really what's going on. And there's some truth here that's not being faced in the relationship, but yet there's a knowing of it. There's a, the Gemini female is not unaware of this, but yet she will not uh, do her homework really what it is it's not going to do my homework yeah okay there's something weird going on but i don't want to know about it you know and i got better feelings but i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna hold it against them and yet i don't know what's going on that kind of thing so and i feel like there's really been no attempt to do so or if there is that you just get to a certain point and not going like there's a giving up sense here so that's really showing within the relationship at this point so we are in the gemini female cut so we're going to gemini male single here we're moving on how are we oh we're getting there okay so gemini male in a single relationship love blocks I say single relationship. That's wrong. I was saying it in a single situation. Being a single person with no relationship. Oh boy. Stuff doesn't go away. many male observers I actually got I would love to know how many I actually got in the room I don't think too many but I could be wrong a few underground ones <laughs> My nose gets super itchy when I get warmed up. Anything? 
and my straw won't work. No more. I'm going to be another half hour. Okay. So we are at the Gemini male coupled. So this is the last read for the night here. And then I'm going to check out. I'm going to do, after this, I'm going to go with one sign a night. <laughs> I know, right? It's really uh, zenning out. You just really... <laughs> Card shuffling. It's funny, Danny. Okay, so here we go. The Gemini male in a coupled relationship. The first card... The first card I get is seven, deception. So we have some disappointment here over something going on in the relationship. So a partner has disappointed us. Okay, there's a woman here, but I feel like this is his energy. He's been disappointed by his partner. What's going on? 13, death, right? Here we go. <laughs> now this usually symbolizes an end, a transition, okay? We'll leave it at that. That's pretty light. But we'll get into it here and figure out if that's the direction. It could could mean the end of a relationship. Uh, something happened and they're they're wanting. The, the male is wanting to end things. Or maybe just feeling so disappointed in things that he feels like he has to. But we'll see where that goes now. The messenger card I get is time to ground. So we have someone that's up in their head a lot. Okay, so the Gemini male... In this coupled relationship, they may be carried away by their thoughts, so they have to get real. Another one here that has to uh, come to terms with what's going on in the grounded earth of the relationship. feel like he's flying off in his thoughts and creating stuff there that's not quite what's going on in reality. Okay, so as we go to the left, this is usually their energy, your energy, the Gemini male. We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is about creativity. It's a creative card. <laughs> We're talking about connections to things outside of the mundane, right? Things that we have to think about. No, these are things we want to think about. We want to do. Make us happy. Soothe us, okay? So this goes with this because it's like, we got a negative energy here right off the bat, okay? So then the universe, because these these uh, middle cards here kind of universal energy saying, okay, this is what needs to happen. This is what's going on. This is what needs to happen. So what's going on is we got some creative abilities here and Gemini's up in their minds. So we may be creatively creating things in our mind that are not real, okay? So that just emphasizes that to a higher degree. No. To the next card, we get the wheel. So here we go. This is a twisting of a fate, right? So if you're in a relationship, you're going to get out of one. If you're out of a relationship or on the verge of that, you may be getting into another one. There's something here that's going to flip a switch. So we are changing. We're in the midst of change and death. We, like it, Yeah, there's an ending here. Something's going on, okay? We have a relationship still. But things are shifting. Now, universal energies, what are they talking about? Let two become one. Are they talking about this relationship or one you need to go to? What's going on here? So we got to go further. On the left side, this is your partner. Strength. You may have a Leo for a partner, okay? There may be a strong, independent woman type figure that is in your midst, okay? And I feel very... Um, feel very regal in that so i don't understand what the betrayal was about okay um the next card i get is the six of cups so this is a lot of the same okay a lot of your partner being in her head about wishing and dreaming about things and i feel yeah because look at her like oh in order to see here she's a really turning this tiger right 
is going towards the future. And it's really on the heels of turning away from all of the cards here. So uh, explaining that, okay? We have a strong, independent, willed woman here that is really walking away. Now, we have this deception card that really clarifies everything. She's walking away from that, too. So there may be a denial to admit something or denying of, you know, of wanting to admit something here and moving forward and not wanting to discuss it in that way. So there might be something here where um, something happened, okay? And I, like I said, I'm not going to expand on what it is, but it's something here that flipped a switch. Uh, suddenly we have a relationship that's not going to be a relationship no more. And there's no talking about it. The guilty party doesn't want to talk about it and the innocent party don't want to talk about it. It's just done and that's it. It's closed case. It's almost like divorce finished, gone. That's it. We're out of here. Um, it's really... Now, th this confuses me and they're going to pull another... So I'm going to pull another uh, spirit card for this because I don't... Where's the two become one here? We've got two energies and not matching. So... <laughs> Heed the messenger, so here we go. Um, this is the card that I pulled, right? And that's really about listening to your intuition. I feel like maybe this couple, they both had intuitions here, both not listening to it, so therefore, boom, the tower came down. I feel like this is just the aftermath of the tower coming in. Boom. And the fate now is starting to switch gears, and now we got to start listening to our instinct. I feel like the two become one because it's on the creativity card. I feel like it's the Gemini male thinking about the perfect partner going forward and going, you know what, this ain't it. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to find it. And you know what? Fate's going to help me do that. Fate's going to kick me in the ass, get me going. Because I feel like, like I said, if we go back one card, I swear to God, we'd get the tower. <laughs> go and try it. Cut it. No, but we get the uh, the page of swords, which is no talk, like communication, but to a degree where we're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere. Okay, so <laughs> an extra card um, playing around with the energies here, but that is the immaturity level. We're at a page here, so. But that's the energy that you guys are playing with. I feel like if you guys separate it. You guys would do better. It's like you're both pulling each other down, and that's why they're going, okay, enough of that. Boom, we're out of here. So there was a, a situation I feel like it's been created. Uh, I wouldn't say, you know, I, I've given the universe the credit to dump this one, but <laughs> I feel like it was created nonetheless because of this energy pulling them down. Now, I'm skipping over cards here. Okay, so the two become one seems like, that's him in his head going, you know, I, I want something and this ain't it. And I'm going to find something because I'm going to start making a list in my head of those things that I want because now I know what I don't want, blah, blah, blah. So we get, we get the partner in her strength walking towards the future. And I feel like she's kind of walking away, just throwing the luggage back there and walking, not wanting to take responsibility, <clears throat> not want to talk, not nothing. Not want to deal. But she's she doesn't realize that she's going to find something in the future she's going to have to deal. may not be her partner with those exact skills, but it'll be something that's very similar <clears throat> in a different way, right? So the Six of Cups was the last card talking about the dreaminess. Her doing the same thing, going out and and uh, more in confusion with the dreaminess. What am I going to do now? What, da, 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 you know? Um, but the spirit card I get is let the emotions flow. So she's really blocking, uh, she's playing, uh, you know, the tough guy, right? The partner is, it's like, I'm not going to feel nothing. You're not going to see me cry and I'm not going to, but, um, the universe is going, we need to really deal with these emotions so that we can, uh, heal from this. Cause once we heal from this, we really can move forward in a more advanced way. And we're not going to be tripping over our feet constantly, you know. Let's pick up the carpet, straighten it out, and go forward. And that's what she's not wanting to do. Just roll that sucker up and 
put it in the corner because I ain't straightening it out. <laughs> you know, because there's a Leo here. I have very stubborn, strong energy. But nonetheless, she's just walking, walking away. And um, I've heard this phrase. It's like lighting a match and walking. And then poof, everything blows up behind her. But she's just walking. Keep going. That kind of a thing. So you got to be aware. <laughs> and not only that, if the only thing that the partner does, sorry, this is for the Gemini male, but if the only thing that the partner does is deal with the emotions, that's enough. Because I feel like, um, and the reason I'm talking about her so much, like the universe is going, we need to talk about her because he thinks that she's cold and heartless. She's not. She's just put in a front and she's going to crack. And it's going to be detrimental to her health if she doesn't deal with it at some point. It may even start doing that already. She may be even having health uh, implications because of that stuff in it playing the the hard you know the hard die here when actuality you know we're not we're not fooling anybody but ourselves right and we're really not even doing a good job at that because that woman is really suffering but she's not willing to let anybody else see her do that and if she can't do that uh, if she wants to suffer in silence, she can absolutely do that as long as she goes through that and feels, lets the emotions flow, that will help her heal. Now, for this male, I feel he's very jaded at this point. So the Gemini male in a coupled relationship uh, is really kind of not uh, going to be numb for the next little while. He's um, He's got a lot of... Uh, you know, this creativity, he might even be getting into some kind of a hobby or something and just j jumping off, maybe going hunting with the guy, you know, whatever is in his niche, right? He's going to go and do that just to fill the time because he really doesn't know how to deal with this. And I feel like, <laughs> unlike the partner going off and kind of stuffing everything he is really going off in bewilderment because he doesn't know how to feel how to release how to do any of that stuff so there's a big void there in that area of what do i do now because it was more of a surprise for him than it was for her but yet she's walking off in more of the energy that he should be walking off with and, and she, you know what i mean like it's kind of a switcheroo but nonetheless not good news here so the gemini male in a coupled relationship seems like he's on the verge of something here now geez i haven't even gotten into the love card the love card physical touch is important so i feel like this is what's been missing for a while maybe the reason for the betrayal maybe the reason <sighs> we've been let down whatever the reason the ending has come okay so it says for some of us nothing is more important than a tender touch this might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it and they're going yeah a lack thereof they're saying so this is really in the relationship was lacking the latter part here um and felt harshly may not uh, maybe putting a front saying don't bother me but in the heart it was felt there's stabbing pains there because of that each person needing that to a degree but not giving it to the other okay so this is what was going on there so it's really not a great no surprise really i think outside sources of the relationship are going okay it's about time I hate to say that and the block the actual block surrender to your soul's path I, i'm shuffling you guys see me shuffling these bloody cards surrender your soul's path so the gemini male in a coupled relationship i'm going to read your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson and every moment now unlike the gemini female single okay the gemini male in a coupled relationship here i feel like he's well on his way to finding his path he just needs to absorb himself in it at this time because I'm feeling he's really at a burp in his life. He's like numb, but not numb that he's not doing. So he's trying to stimulate, but his emotions are numbed. Not like he's making an effort to do so. It's almost in shock. 
okay? But yet it's not a surprise that this happened because it really wasn't going well for quite a while. So the soul's path is going to help you redirect your attention away from the, the trauma, you know, uh, and get you in a mode where you can start to feel good about things because that really is your PowerPoint for the Gemini male in a couple of relationship. He's got his career figured out and he's quite content with, I wouldn't say he's overjoyed and happy, but he's content. He knows what he's doing and he's got it figured out. So he's, that's where you need to go to unblock, to really uh, get away from the numbness. Because I feel like this numbness is your block. And this is how you relieve that, right? Surrender to your soul's path. Go in the direction of your career. Let that lift you because you have a confidence there that obviously, right, the relationship is not going to bring that confidence because right now it's you take a hit. So we need to redirect the attention to our work because that's where our strength is. Bring that up. And then start falling back on the emotions and man, they're going to start coming. So be prepared um, for some, you know, maybe camping trips by yourself <laughs> and releasing, getting rid of that energy. Because uh, I feel like not only for the, I feel like this is a warning absolutely for the partner. Let those emotions flow because you'll be in the hospital trying to figure things out but it's also for the male but i think the male is more in a, a place where i don't know how to cry you know because this is so ingrained in uh the male side of things you know women know how to cry but they stuff it better women can stuff it better men just get where well, they don't know what to do they don't know how to feel so they you know and there will come a point where it's just going to come out you know there's going to be a point you know like what do you call that? You get flashbacks in those moments. But I feel like it's going to be a year or so down the road for this guy before he actually starts emotionally purging from this, which is harsh because they're saying in the fall, we got to deal with the stuff by fall. Uh, but it may be well into your next relationship until you start dealing. But I have a feeling that, you know, it just will be the way that it's supposed to go for this guy. So for the Gemini male, man, it's... A rough trade here. <laughs> we got some endings going on. Some, uh, you know, the wheel of fate here, the wheel of fortune is is shifted, and we're flipping things over. And that's really what it is. So he's got a lot of um, things up in the air at this point. And I don't think, like I said, just focus on your path, where you're going. Um, give me a sec here. They're saying there's a few out there that uh, with the Gemini male and a couple relationship, a few of them may not have that career so lined up. So go where your strengths are. Go where you can get happy, where things that make you happy don't wallow in, in the, um, the ending. Try and make a new beginning for something, you know, if it's not your job or whatever. Don't let it bring you to a fall apart point right? Because they're saying this, it'll create, create it. That's an imbalance, right? We don't want to be tipping to all the negative because then we just end up falling off that cliff and, and then we got damaged to recover. So anyway, I'm done. <laughs> that was the Gemini male couple. So I want to thank everybody. There wasn't too many people in tonight, so there must be some good TV on. Uh, I was going to take questions for, from anybody. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the cards here for five minutes. And if anybody comes in and wants to ask any questions at any point here, I've got about, you know, 20 minutes or so. We can have a chit chat, open mic, that kind of a thing. So if you want to do that, feel free. I'll give it about five minutes. Uh, I'll give it about five minutes here. So next week, what's going to happen is, uh, well, not next week. Jeez, what am I talking about? The next sign I'm going after here is Sagittarius. was mentioned in the last uh, feed. So we're going to have the Sagittarians up for the Thursday. So that's tomorrow, the 15th. So we'll do Sagittarius tomorrow. 
and we'll be nice and chill with it because I'll do my meditation. I'll be in the zone. I was more in the zone today than I was yesterday, but I'll be more in that zone and we'll just zip right in and we'll do those four because I did two extras today. I'll have lots of time for questions and comments. So I'll post that tonight that I can have, you know, I, I would like to get a nice, uh, good half an hour 40 minutes where we can have an open discussion anybody has questions about you know that sign or maybe any of the signs in you know that I've done so far any clarifying questions whatever we can get into that because a lot of, I know a lot of you guys are watching this the day after or whatever so they're catching up on it so it's not a lot of people like commenting so I just want to urge you to comment if you guys got questions you want to bring forward do that in the last bit here because tomorrow I'm only going to be doing the four of the one sign so that's the female single couple male single couple so the four so that won't take me two hours but we can go into an hour and a half here I should be able to do that within an hour and then we can go into the uh, the other hour with kind of an open mic any questions you want to answer anything that was in a reading for your science say your Aries and you know you, there was something here you needed clarifying for or situation just shout it out and I'll start spitting out whatever I can if you got any questions we'll kind of limit it to the love scene I think so we can try and focus on that that's really uh, the commitment I made here <laughs> Because uh, I went in, man, I had to really rewrote things. They're making it easy on me to, to do this. But nonetheless, they're like, nope, we need to get these people, figure out their love blocks, get them on the road, kick them out. You know, we got to get rid of their blocks here. So that bird's eye view that I got, we got to take advantage of that. Because at a certain point here, I'm going to be shifting out of this mode, right? I'm going to be going and doing other things. So I want to make use of this time that I have to do this and the opportunity that I have because my schedule is already starting to fill up where I'm not going to be doing this anymore. So uh, I do want to also say that I will be uh, starting up those micro tarot nights. Again, uh, my plan here, <laughs> I got some family commitments I'm making. But um, look at my calendar here. My plan was to come in near the end of March. Like that 29th was the last Thursday because that's what I was doing the last Thursday of the month. So I'm thinking the 29th of March, I'll give you a heads up. If you don't hear nothing, crickets are chirping, then we'll go to the next month. And it'll be like the 26th of April. I'll come in there and then we'll start tarot nights again micro nights and we'll just start going and uh, as far as I know I think I'm going to stay with the love theme now another thing I wanted to catch you guys up on was the spring series I'm just going to skip that all together I've gone into the Valentine's Day that pretty much covers the spring and then now we've gone into the love blocks highlighted some more stuff so we're not even gonna we're just gonna be overlap I'm gonna be overlapping myself so I'm not even gonna bother with the spring it's just gonna be a lot of the same stuff okay so I'm gonna come in with the summer and the fall for sure with that series so the next series that I put out will be the fall or sorry the summer series <laughs> hopefully I'll be in with that and I think uh, I'm gonna couple up the couples I'm gonna do within one reading I don't know how I'm gonna do that quite yet but I'm gonna mix them instead of making two separate videos for singles and couples it's gonna be females and the single and couple will be in the same video so I'm either gonna just read uh, have two spreads read one and then the other right away or read the energies and I just they tell me what to do and I just do it so I'll make that mind up I guess when it comes to me um so yeah so that's the plan for the spring and fall I'm going to skip the spring readings we're just going to overlap and the next tomorrow night will be Sagittarius so I'll just keep going through and if you guys want to hear yours just write your your uh zodiac sign down if not then I'll just chronologically go through them uh, in order usually of popularity through my videos, you know, the, the ones that have the lowest numbers I kind of shoot them out later 
it usually seems like you know the beginning of the horoscope and i call the beginning aquarius pisces aries those are the ones who really have the high numbers so that's how i that's why i go in that order and then a few times i was going to reverse it and things just happen <laughs> kick me out of there well nobody's coming in so i'm going to shut her down but i want to thank danny for coming in today and i want to thank who was the other i can't remember her name now sarah sarah thanks for coming in she's all the way across the pond there so want to thank her for coming in uh and being so nice happy valentine's day everyone hope you had fun well we're all out getting lovey-dovey with it that's what's going on <laughs> so hope you had a good day uh take care have fun and be kind and i'll see you all this week and next week uh, i won't be far so take it easy take care be kind